for someone who wants success, giving up is not an uh, a word that is, uh, I would say, large in the vocabulary, because you do not want to have such idea about giving up. You'll try everything to succeed. Hey, this is Raina Campbell, your chief dream driver, and welcome to the No Parking Podcast, where through conversations and discussions with creators like yourself, we'll find interesting approaches to help you take your dreams out of park, put them in drive, and ride towards success. Hey, Dream Drivers, welcome to episode 125 of the Dreams and Drive podcast. I can't believe that exactly to this day, if you're listening in on January 1st, 2018, two years ago to this day, I launched Dreams and Drive. I had no idea what would have progressed since then. I had no idea what Dreams and Drive was going to turn into. I didn't even know if I would continue podcasting. I had never podcasted before. I had never put up an episode before. But this is just to show you that sometimes you have to put your dreams out there and see how they grow, see how they blossom, see how they prosper. Because you, by not putting them out there, by staying in park, you'll never know. And what is life if you never at least give your dreams a chance? So before we get into today's episode, episode, whether this is your first time listening or whether you have listened multiple times, please, please, please make sure you are following us on social. We are Dreams and Drive across the board, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also use the hashtag Dreams and Drive to shout us out or to see what other people are saying. I'm also going to invite you guys to our Facebook group. So we have an online Facebook group where you can um, connect with other Dream Drivers where I post a lot of exclusive things. And in 2018, I really have some great plans for the Facebook group. So if you want to be part of that, just search Dream Driver Mastermind the next time you're on Facebook, or you can just go to dreamsanddrive.com slash Facebook to uh, sign up and request access. So this episode is going to be all about the power of consistency, focus, and vision. And those were the three things that really helped me grow dreams and drive over these past two years. I had to be consistent. I had to be extremely focused and I had to have a vision and this belief in what I wanted dreams and drive to be. And I think for anyone, anyone with a dream, if you're a dream driver, if you're listening to this, you're someone who is either thinking of doing something or you are actively doing something now, you definitely need to commit to these things in the beginning of the year. If you want to see those goals that you have for yourself, uh, get accomplished by the end of the year. And I'm going to talk about this later, but it's really important also to create momentum. And I think those three things are what really helped create and sustain momentum, consistency, focus and vision. So I was reading this meme the other day and it was just talking about like results and how at the end of the day, people want to see results. So let me tell you guys some of the results I've seen by being consistent, focused and um sticking to a vision, right? So dreams and drive in 2017, here are the numbers. So we had over 365,000 downloads to date. Uh, I went on Google Analytics, just wanted to get some of our web analytics. We had over 14,500 web visitors, over 67,000 page views, 43% of you guys are between the ages of 25 to 34, which is pretty darn cool. We have a 75% female, 25% male split, which I think is healthy and I think it's awesome. I didn't know we had so many males listening into our show and checking out our website and being part of our community. So for all you guys listening in, please tell more of your fellas. I think that although we have a lot of female guests on the show, there's so much that we can learn. And I also have male guests on the show as well. This is not only for females. Males, right? Dreams and Drive is for both males and females, although I think we we lean towards more female guests, but I think that it's important to hear everyone's story and I'm just so excited to for you guys to hear more guests that we had or that we have planned for the show. So this year we had 75 guests in total, which is super duper cool. Um, I talked to so many amazing men and women and you guys were able to hear their stories and I can't wait for you guys to hear the stories of the men and women that we have lined up for 2018. So what were our top five episodes of the year? Uh, the number one downloaded episode, this is gonna go by downloads. So the number one most downloaded episode was episode 
61 with Trent Shelton, how the relationship with yourself can make or break your brand. And I think that that episode was just so enlightening and so inspiring for a lot of people because Trent kept it real about how he, you know, had this this blossoming in quotes NFL career and how that was taken from him in a second how he kind of went into this downfall and had to turn himself around so I think that really resonated with a lot of people so if you want to check that out I highly encourage you guys to do so uh number two episode most downloaded episode was episode number 72 with Dre Baldwin on how to overcome fear of failure, be more confident and develop mental toughness. A lot of you guys said you liked that. Number three was episode 63 with Nicole Kane, reclaiming your health legacy and purpose. Number four was episode 86 with Sarah Vega, the dream hitting rock bottom and finding faith, hope and new beginnings again. And a lot of you guys, even in the survey, which I asked you guys to fill out dreams and drive.com slash survey, you mentioned that Sarah, Sarah Vegas was your favorite episode. And for me, I love hearing Sarah's story of resilience and overcoming really tough situations. She talks about how she attempted suicide twice and it didn't work and how she knew that God had a purpose for her life. And and there was just so much more that Sarah talked about in that episode. So I highly encourage you guys to listen to it if you haven't already. The number five most downloaded episode was episode 59 with Courtney Futch and that was Journey to the Dream the Foundation and in that Courtney talks about her road to finding herself, finding her dream and in part one we talk about how she got her dream job and we had to have a part two because she ended up getting fired from that dream job a few days after the interview and we had to talk about what happened next. So that was a great, great episode. Those are the top five most downloaded episodes of the year. And if you're not already subscribed to us wherever you're listening, whether that be Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, iHeartRadio, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you are notified every time we have a new episode. So let's talk about this whole idea of consistency, focus, and vision. I had to be honest, like all those three things were what helped me grow dreams and drive. I knew going into dreams and drive that I had never been consistent with anything before. Prior to this, I was like a pseudo blogger, pseudo YouTuber, pseudo freelance writer, and I just wasn't getting the results. My audience wasn't growing. My social media wasn't growing. I didn't feel like I had this deeper purpose that I longed for. And so when podcasting came around and into my life, I realized that I had to do something that I had never done before. I had to like, this was before the new year, right? I set a goal. I said, generally, January 1st, 2016 is when I'm going to launch this. What am I going to do differently that I had never done before that if I want to be successful, I have to really, really zero in on this. And the thing was, I had to be consistent. I had to be so committed and so dedicated to this goal of mine, which was growing and becoming a top business podcaster. I could not be lackadaisical and inconsistent and non-committed to it, right? I had to really say, hey, right, you are the thing that I really, really want. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to that. So number one, consistency. So if you want to be consistent, the number four things you have to ask yourself, what's your goal? What's your goal? What is it that you are being consistent for or to, right? Number two is how will you get there? One of the biggest things that a lot of us struggle with, with being consistent is not having a process, not having a system, not having a roadmap. So once you have your goal, you need to then create the roadmap for yourself. Get your GPS out, plot out the points to your end destination, and then create processes so that you have no other choice but to be consistent. And then you really have to ask yourself and you have to be aware of what does this mean to you and how much do you want it? Because it's going to be hard to be consistent. There are going to be days when you just don't feel like doing it. And to be honest, most of the times I don't feel like editing. Most of the times I don't feel like, you know, producing. Sometimes I don't even feel like doing interviews. But I have to ask myself, what's the goal? And do I want that more than I want the the uh, whatever not doing it gets me? So sometimes not doing it will get me a free night, a free Tuesday, a free Wednesday, you know, not working on the podcast. But is my desire to be a number one podcaster business podcaster my goal is that bigger than just one night of being free from seven to nine and you know most of the times 
my goal outweighs the short-term benefit that I get from not investing in myself and in my business. So those are the things that you have to ask yourself in order to be consistent. And then you have to just say, you know, what kind of checks and balances do I have to put in place in my processes and systems? Maybe it's you have to put reminders on your phone. Maybe it's you need an accountability group, but you need to do whatever it takes so that you can be successful at being consistent and figuring out if you're not somebody who's consistent What are those things that are going to help you and how can you make incremental shifts? Because it's the beginning of the year and I think a lot of people think that they're going to change overnight. I'm sorry, but if December 31st, 2017 at 1159 p.m. you are not a consistent person, you cannot automatically become consistent January 1st, 12 or 1 a.m. It just does not work like that. But I think that you can work towards being consistent and you can make it a goal that you want to be more consistent. And I'm really big in making incremental small shifts small goals towards bigger goals, right? So then number two is this whole idea of being focused. What is it that you have to do in order to be focused? So I think a lot of people are trying to be everyone to everything and everywhere for everyone. And if you're trying to be consistent, you will tear yourself apart if you are trying to be consistent for every single thing. And it just doesn't work like that. To get Focused means that you really, really have to zero in on one specific aspect or one specific goal. So here are some questions you can ask yourself. What kind of prep, what kind of research have you done? I think sometimes it's hard to be focused when you don't know the landscape. You don't know what the background is of what you're trying to focus in on. So for me, podcasting, I had to do some research on what podcasting was so I knew what to focus on. I had to know my competitive landscape. I had to know the industry. I had to know some things about it, some of the major players, some trends, some analytics, all this stuff. But that preparation helped me stay focused because I became more confident in knowing where I fit in in that equation. And a lot of times, a lot of us are out here trying to dominate, trying to have these goals. where We have no idea where we fit in. How can you really pinpoint your your destination, your starting point, if you have no idea whether you should be on the East Coast or the West Coast? And that's just figuratively now. But I'm just trying to say that sometimes the lack of preparation, the lack of research doesn't give us a very steady foundation. So make sure if you're trying to stay focused this year that you are also building your foundation so that you have somewhere to literally focus on in the beginning. So with focus, these same things matter. What's your goal? Goals to be the top business podcaster I'm talking about for me. Who are you serving? Now, you need to figure out who your audience is. And I get so, so, so annoyed sometimes when people say, oh, I want to serve women, 20-year-old women. That's not focused enough. With focus comes being specific. Who are you serving? So for me, it was creative and lifestyle entrepreneurs between the ages of 25 to 34 who live in urban areas who are identified primarily as multicultural. So they may be, you know, women or men of color. That's a very significant subset. You can get even deeper with that. But with focus, try to speak to one person. You know how they say in the marketing world, have an avatar. Know everything about this person, what this person likes, what this person doesn't like, where this person works, her age, how many siblings she's had, kind of car she drives. You need to really have this clear visual identifier of your target audience that you can multiply. But when you're creating content, when you're trying out new things, you have to ask yourself, will this person, you can name this person. So I like to get, let's say I name my person Susie. Will Susie like this? Do it for Susie. Get really focused in on the beginning. In the beginning, I was talking to a specific type of person who I thought wanted to hear this content and needed this content. Who needs what you're trying to say? And when you say who, think of a person and then start from there, right? Then you have to ask yourself, why do they need what this is? Why do they need what you're creating? What are you giving them that they can't get anywhere else? Because when you're so focused on delivering value, you have to also understand what is the value that you're delivering. And with Dreams and Drive, what I found a lot of people really liked was the motivation and the inspiration and and these perspectives on keeping dreams in motion that maybe my listeners weren't getting from other podcasts or weren't just getting in general. So 
You need to really know this in order to stay focused and just keep asking yourself, what's the plan? What are your systems that you have in place? You need to create that roadmap for yourself in this in this whole focus stage, because if you want to be consistent, you have to be focused. And these two go hand in hand. So when you have consistency and focus, what are you creating? Momentum. Momentum that cannot be destroyed. Momentum that is always picking up more momentum. Momentum that's keeping you going. So even if you're a neutral, you can still rock into drive easily. Because at the end of the day, your consistency, your focus should be leading you to action. And that's what I want everyone to know. That action, that momentum is what I want everyone to really be excited about this year. I remember episode number one with David. I was so scared. It wasn't even supposed to be a real episode. It was just supposed to be a test episode. And it turned out being the first episode and turned out being one that people really enjoyed. And I've grown so much since then. But if I hadn't continued to put out even when I was nervous, if I hadn't continued to put out even when I thought no one was listening, when I wasn't getting any downloads, because I didn't really get a huge spike in downloads until episode 32, which was when I got that first Apple podcast feature. And I got that Apple podcast feature because I was focused and my goal was to grow and I had to figure out, so if my goal is to grow, how do I grow? And one of the tactics or one of the ideas that I came up with was I had to get featured on a huge distribution platform and I had to think to myself, so how does one get featured? I had to figure out who was at the head of Apple Podcasts or iTunes, whatever it was at the time. And I connected with him and that that story, I think I talk about on previous episodes. But basically the goal is when you're focused, you're going to figure out a way. When there is a will, there is a way. And that comes with focus and being consistent and being committed and being dedicated helps you create momentum and action is in which which is what you really need in this new year. So my call to action to everyone listening in is like, take it from me as a prime example. I've been doing this for two years. I have not podcasted before. I'm not even on the level of podcasting that I would say is a huge success, right? Like my podcast episodes probably download around, probably average around like 2000 episodes seven days post release, which is not that big, but my audience is so engaged and my platform is growing and my own personal brand is growing as well. So, you know, I'm not on a Lewis Howes level or an NPR, how I built this, where they get hundreds of thousands of downloads every week, but I know I'm getting towards that and I believe in that. And with that consistency, not only being consistent in the dream, but you have to be consistent in the belief You have to believe in yourself this year, even when you don't want to believe in yourself. And let me tell you a little bit story about consistency in the dream. So I think in December, I was talking about this a little bit in episode 124, Stop Half Trying. There was a point in December where I was like, F podcasting, like I'm just not feeling it anymore. And I, it was a struggle to put out those episodes. Although those episodes were phenomenal, my heart just was like drifting away. It's kind of like when you're falling out of love, but you know how they say with love, it's all about action and it's not about something that's just going to be automatic. It requires action. You have to actively work on your dream in order for it to stay alive because Some things are just hobbies. Some things are just passion. But if you're a dream driver, you're trying to build something bigger than yourself. That's when you're going to have to know that there are going to be times when you're working on something and you don't want to do it. But if you just let yourself fall, you know, fall back and you just keep putting things off for a week and then for two weeks and for three weeks and a month, you're going to fall out of love with your dream. You're going to not your keys won't fit in the ignition the next time you try to start it. You're going to have to do a lot of work in order to get that back. And one of the things that I realized, you know, I think it was just talking to like my friends, I think I was talking to Art Steele and we were just having a conversation where she was just so pumped and I just got so pumped again. I started, you know, working on the podcast and all this stuff. And I was like, wait, I really do love this. Like, oh, wait, like I'm, I'm pumped up again. But that's because I hadn't been 
in the environment that was conducive to really being consistent. And that's so important too. Like make sure the people around you are going to motivate you and know about your goals. And you have to really be very self-aware and very self-aware about what is helping you to grow and what's going to help you stay focused and stay consistent. So what am I excited about in the new year? Well, definitely in January 6th, I'll be speaking at Christina Brown's Brown Girls Love Power Day, which I'm very excited about. It's my first speaking engagement for 2018. And I posted on Instagram a while ago about how in 2017, I was just a attendee. And I remember doing a episode or asking a question to one of the panelists and and not really envisioning that in a year I'd be a panelist myself. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about hosting some Dreams and Drive events this year. If you're interested in me coming to your city or if you have any ideas or events, please do email me because I am so um Looking forward to connecting with all of you. I'm also very excited about making money this year. So I talk about my struggle with monetization over the past two years. So this year, I'm really just dedicated and going to be con committed to really setting up my income stream. So whether that be through affiliate marketing, consultations, podcast consultations, which you can sign up for one if you want at dreamsanddrive.com slash session, merchandise, ebooks, digital products. I know that Dreams and Drive is going to be profitable. Not saying that it's not profitable now because I'm not really bringing in that much money, but I definitely want to scale it and grow it. Start building a team. Start building something that's bigger than myself. And that's something I'm really interested in and looking forward to in 2018. I'm also just really looking forward to getting to know more about the community, getting to know what you guys' challenges are and interacting with you all more. Or in the survey that I asked people to fill out, one of the comments was people want to get to know who I am. So I want to do more solo episodes and really show you guys a lot of my expertise and, and put in my own ways that I can be of use and of value to you all listening in. So what resolutions do I think you dream drivers beginning of the year? What are the real things that I think you guys should be focusing in on? Well, number one, I think that we all need to make a big, scary, what the heck are you thinking goal? What is this big, huge thing that you want to accomplish? Something that just seems so outrageous. Write that down. I have mine in mind. Like I would love to have a million downloads an episode. That seems outrageous. I don't even know if anyone has a million downloads an episode, but I just really want Dreams and Drive to reach so many more people than it's reaching now. So that's my big scary, what the heck are you thinking goal? And if I don't reach it, it's all right. But I know that I, I'm working towards something so outrageous that whatever I do accomplish will be outrageous itself. Number two is I want us all to consistently believe because when you consistently believe, you will consistently do. And that doing is so important. As I said before, you cannot be a dream driver and not actually drive. You have to do. You cannot be a dream thinker, a dream. I think I want to. You actually have to do. And the number three is focus. Whatever your niche is, get really specific. Get really specific on what your goals are and then know that you have to be committed to it. You have to be dedicated to it. Dream drivers in 2018, we have to get focused, consistent and make these big, scary goals. So I'm so excited for you guys to really grow with me. And I say grow with me because over the past two years, that's what you guys have been doing. We're going to have a lot of great episodes planned for you. Our next three guests are going to include Maddie James, Sarah Kuntz, and Squeaky Moore. And they all have fabulous stories that I think are very inspirational and motivating and encouraging. As always, remember, we are... Fi oh, we have a surprise uh, outro from James Campbell himself. Daddy, what do you think dream drivers need to really remember in 2018? If you try and you think you fail, then you haven't tried hard enough. It's like the hypocrisy out of teaching. Until a child has learned, you haven't taught anything. So until you have succeeded, you haven't tried hard enough. But isn't that a little... What if you are trying and you haven't succeeded and you feel like giving up? So you're saying that if you don't succeed, you didn't try hard enough? What? I haven't tried hard enough. 
do you ever think you should pivot then? At what point do you pivot? At what point do you give up? For someone who wants success, giving up is not an uh, a word that is, uh, I would say, large in their vocabulary. Because you do not want to have such idea about giving up. You'll try everything to succeed. All right, guys. So that's it from James Campbell himself. Do not give up in 2018 because if you gave up, you didn't really want it. As always, remember, we are Dreams and Drive on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and use the hashtag dreams and drive as well. If you're interested in working with me this year, and I'm going to put this out there because I'm offering them at ser- as services, I do marketing consultations and also podcast strategy sessions. So if you're a podcaster and want to learn how to take your podcast to the next level, just go to dreamsanddrive.com slash session. If you want to learn more about my other services, just go to dreamsanddrive.com slash book. And in general, if you just want to learn more about about dreams and drive just go to dreamsanddrive.com and explore the site i will be making some changes to it but right now we have free resources we have an about me page we have all our episode show notes so definitely please go out and check out the site i still can't believe it two years of dreams and drive this all just seems so uh surreal but i know that we all have surreal moments for anyone listening in whether you have a business whether you have a brand whether you sell lemonade outside who knows i think that we all can surprise ourselves if we're willing to put in the work and i want to say it's the beginning of the year we're not going to change overnight incremental shifts but know that if you're committed to it if you're consistent if you're focused and if you keep that vision in mind you will keep moving you will keep dreaming and you will keep driving Make sure to share this episode with a friend if you found that it was very encouraging, if you just want to let other people know about Dreams and Drive at the top of the year. And because I don't want to miss anyone, I'm going to make a blanket statement of thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you who listened. Thank you to each and every one who ever uh, believed in me, believed in the vision, whoever retweeted, whoever shared this episode with a friend, whoever supported by buying merchandise, like whoever, if, if we've ever been in contact or if we've never been in contact, I do appreciate it. And I do hope that you continue to believe in the vision and continue to be a supporter of the movement. Keep dreaming, keep driving, and we'll chat again in episode 126. Bye guys. <laughs>